work. I believe in work. You sure that's going to help me stop being a hoe? I, I do, I do, but let's go through the process so let's just see what happens. So pull them off of me and I can help you. Okay, let me help you from here. Ooh. Okay, step out of them. All right, now, and so what this does, and, and I'm always real discreet with your regular panties. So I folded them, I laid them there. And like I said, what these do, these are prayer panties. And by me touching them and helping you put them on, and the way we do it, this will help. So you just keep that in mind. Step into these. Okay? Put your leg in. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Now, and allow me to pull them up. Yeah, this is good. All right. Anybody want to tell me who perverted pastor is this? First of all, this, this got to be a joke. How you trust a pastor that got a robe made out of crime royal bag? Out here talking about you hustling prayer panties. You going to slide on some prayer panties for the girl. No, she don't need no prayer panties, baby. You need a cold shower, a talk with your grandmother, and a shot of penicillin. This got to be one of the silliest things I've ever seen in my life. Prayer panties. Prayer panties is not the cure to promiscuity. Well, you want to stop being promiscuous? Hang out with a broke man and him having to not pay for stuff, not paying for this, and not being able to feed you, not being able to put gas in your car will dry you right on up. You'll be stiff as an old rag. That's right. You'll dry up like the Sahara. Everybody knows you can't enjoy a big penis on an empty stomach. I'm Shula King. Y'all keep your draws on till I get back.